Hot off the presses today is the version 10 of Rome, aka Rome's first stable release available now. Now, what is Rome? Is this the first time you're hearing about it? You might be thinking version 10. I've never even heard of version one. Well, this is the first stable release. OK, so Rome is a project that has been in the works for quite some time. And within this stable release is a formatter and a linter. So you can see here, Rome is a unified formatter, a unified linter, and it's hopefully going to be so much more than that. You can see if we scroll down here, they have plans for a compiler and a bundler and a testing library as well, all of which would be fully encompassing the suite of JavaScript based tooling. So this is a formatter and linter for JavaScript right now. And you might be thinking, I use Prettier, I use ESLint, I got my stuff figured out. Why would I want to use this? Well, it's continuing the trend of other tools built in Rust, and it is, dare I say, blazingly fast. You can see it's 25% faster than Prettier when formatting 85,000 lines of code. See the benchmark. Granted, that's their own benchmark, but I believe it. they show a lot of really great uh, reasons why this type of feature might even be useful. And in fact, if we scroll down in their blog post down here, there's a really good video that shows that it's able to determine issues as you're typing rather than there being some sort of a delay. And that kind of speed is really going to tighten that feedback loop of there's something wrong with my code. If you're not using tools like formatters and linters, you have to get on this game already because it's going to save you a ton of time. So what is Rome? Well, it's a lot of tools, but the ones that are out today is the linter and formatter. They're fast because they're built in Rust. That's from the developer behind Babel and Yarn. There's a whole team of uh, people working on this. There is uh, zero configuration when getting started. You have to love zero configuration. It's scalable. It's optimized. It's actionable, informative batteries included. These are all words that I love in projects. You can install it today. You need to add Rome to your project by NPM install Rome. Then you can use Rome inside of your project. There's a VS code extension already available today. This thing is hot off the presses. If you're a JavaScript TypeScript developer, Rome is here for you. And hopefully soon for it says December 22 for JSON, HTML and CSS formatting and linting as well. That sounds like a lot of great things. So a lot of TBDs to, to be determined on many of these aspects of Rome. But as far as a linting and formatting tools go, I think this part of the web could use a major shakeup and Rome looks like a really great option.